Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes The Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks Golf Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Friday, August 10th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. They offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. You can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. Hello, everyone. I am Steve Fish, the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines. And you are watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC show. Now, this show is being taped at the Kansas City Ice Center located two miles west of 435 off of Johnson Drive, where you can sign up your kids for Learn to Skate or learn to play hockey classes on their website, kcicecenter.com. Now, today we're taping our radio show, which is heard on ESPN 1510 Saturdays at 8 a.m., and our TV show, which can be seen on SureWest Cable on Channel 7 at 8.30 a.m., at 4.30 p.m., and at 8.30 p.m. every single day. And now you can also view our show and some of our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that the latest issue of SheKC is now available at over 500 locations, and our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in Kansas City. And this month, with our current issue of KC Sports, we continue to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC, and also this month, uh, it marks our start of our seventh year on the radio. Plus, we've been doing our TV version of our show for just over two years. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our Chiefs report presented by Bud Light. This month, we make our prediction on how the Chiefs will do this season. Plus, we point out some of the players to watch this season as well. And in our new hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, the host of our show today, we have an article on a brand new outdoor NHL-sized rink, which is scheduled to open at the KC Ice Center this November. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a few seconds. And for more information on their Learn to Skate and Learn to Play hockey programs available at the Kansas City Ice Center, you can call them at 913-441-3033 or visit Kansas City, KCIceCenter.com. That's KCIceCenter.com. And in SheKC, we have a story on Kansas City's own gold medal, gold medal winner, Christy Ambrosi, who was a part of the U.S. Olympic softball team in 2000. Plus, we show you ways to stay safe and protect yourself this fall. And you can pick up your copy of our current issue of KC Sports at Burger King at both Minsky's on Berry Road. Mr. Good Sense, the Kansas City Ice Center, again, where we're doing our show today, and at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area. And for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports Magazine, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of the locations on our website. And you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website as well. And our publication, SheKC, is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find KC Sports. Plus, you can visit our website, SheKC.com. You can check us out on Facebook by searching SheKC, all one word, or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, I mentioned we are out here at the Kansas City Ice Center, and uh, we're joined by a regular uh, to our show who is uh, Dean Nelson, the general manager from the Kansas City Ice Center, Ice Center, and we're also joined by a special guest who came in specifically to work with Dean on a hockey camp that they have going on right now. He is Sean Podine. He's a former professional ice hockey left winger who played 11 seasons in the National Hockey League for the Edmonton Oilers, the Philadelphia Flyers, the Colorado Avalanche, and the St. Louis Blues. Go Blues. Welcome to the show, guys. Oh, hang on. i got to turn your mics up. I forgot to do that because you guys were talking. <laughs> That's okay, right. let's try that again. Welcome to the show, guys. Uh, let's start all over again. So, welcome, to, no, welcome to the show, guys. So, 
So, uh, Dean, we want to thank you for bringing us in on a, a day when Sean was here. Now, you guys, I guess, go way back. Uh, yeah, me and Sean have been friends since we were real little in squirt hockey and, uh, you know, spent a lot of time growing up together, went to some camps together and just kind of, uh, you know, always kept a close relationship. Uh, no matter where we went or what we did, we always knew that we had that close bond of growing up playing hockey together. So, Sean, do you agree with that assessment? Oh, totally. <laughs> we lived three blocks away from each other. We went on hockey vacations up to Thunder Bay, Ontario as families. We spent a lot of time together growing up around the rink, and uh, uh, we've always been very good friends since I don't even know what grade Dino has been going <laughs> time. If, Sean, if, if you can crank that microphone just a little bit closer to your mouth, we want to hear everything that you have to say. There we go. So, uh, so uh, But, Dean, you moved here to Kansas City to uh, run the um, – the Kansas City Ice Center. You've been here, what, about a year? Yeah, I've been here about a year and uh, maybe a couple months. I moved down when they did the renovation here to the Ice Center and then uh, uh, took over as a general manager six, seven months ago as well as a director of hockey over here at the Kansas City Ice Center. And you guys grew up in Rochester, Minnesota, yep. which may, may or may not be a place where people uh, know that name, but it's where the Mayo Clinic is. Yep. And then it's where the Rochester honkers are, and uh, <laughs> I wore this specifically for you guys. My, uh, I have a, a small world thing. Last year, my son was calling baseball for the Rochester honkers, uh -huh. doing the play-by-play, -play, and he went out after a game, and sa he sends me this text in a picture, and he says, I saw former blue Sean Podine at, at this <laughs> local <laughs> establishment <laughs> where, where they were hanging out. And, you know, and he said, I got a chance to talk to him and, you know, and, and things like that. So yeah, I really like that ice cream parlor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one of yeah. My favorites. yeah, that's that's where he was for <laughs> sure. <laughs> so but you were there. Uh, he, he also said that you were there doing a, a charity event that you go back to Rochester and do a lot of charity. You do a lot of charity work, which we'll talk about a little bit later on the show. But you were doing a charity event at that time in Rochester. So uh, you do a lot in giving back to the community where you grew up now. Are, are you also, uh, I read you're coaching a team right now. Are you going to coach a high school team, or was that last season? Yeah, we settled down in St. Louis Park, Minnesota, and uh, ended up coaching the high school team there last year, along with my little kids' things. And so we're just kind of getting back and uh, getting some roots back in Minnesota and settling down after a long career. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, did you play in, in an outdoor game when you were with the Flyers? Did I see a picture of that? <laughs> I was part of the old man game. The uh, we had. Uh, oh, okay, uh, okay. They had, they had the big uh, <laughs> outdoor game New, Year, New Year's Eve or the day before New Year's. Can't remember. And they had an alumni game with the Rangers and the Flyers uh, gotcha. before that. So yeah, that was a blast. It was okay, fun. okay. And I and I bring that up because right through here, which people can't see, but I'm going to put a picture uh, up of it. Uh, there's an outdoor rink that's going up here at the KCI Center. And Dean, you and I have talked about it for. Uh, several months you were kind enough to reveal that information on our show uh, to our, our viewers and our listeners, but uh, uh, it's coming along. Where would you say you are right now with this? Um, with the whole project? Yeah, I yeah, guess. yeah. You know, we're probably about three months out right now from opening the doors to the ice. Uh, the footings are in for the building to be built. Um, there's uh, definite plans and scheduling already of things that we're going to do there. I know around the holiday times of maybe um, – the New Year, uh, Christmas, New Year, somewhere in there, we will be doing an outdoor classic. Uh, the same thing is kind of feeding off the NHL, and, and it's kind of an idea of where I come from in Rochester, and, and, and Sean can probably tell you, is they do a hockey day in Minnesota, it's called. Well, now throughout the uh, state, they are doing a hockey day in each city. So we want to do the same thing here where it's kind of an outdoor classic or it's an outdoor tournament where uh, each team will get a chance to play a game on the outdoor ice. And I tell you, you never see the look on a kid when he comes off the ice after playing on an outdoor rink. It, and we were lucky enough to grow up with outdoor rinks and live on them half the winter. But here I think it's going to add so much to the hockey here at Kansas City with another sheet of ice. Well, I was talking with Mike Curry, who's one of the owners of this rink. Uh, uh, our kids played together many, many years ago. And Mike said the adults are saying, we'll pay more to play on that outdoor <laughs> rink. And, and, yeah, it's it. You know, for those of us that didn't grow up playing ice hockey, you know, and picked it up as adults, it's like, yeah, we want to experience that right, right. that little th little thing there. So it's going to be a full size NHL rink. It'll be the only one in the city that's a full size outdoor NHL rink, and mm -hmm. that's that's huge in itself. It'll have it'll have a cover though. Yes. But it'll be open on three sides? Yeah, it'll be open pretty much uh, all sides, but one side will um, kind of back up to the building here. So there'll be uh, all sides will be open. Uh, and you'll be able to see it from Johnson Drive coming by. So we'll have public skates or hockey games or you know or what have you. Whatever's on your ice, we can have out there. So it will be um, uh, a full-size NHL rink. 
Very good. And uh, it's, so it's going to be open in November and go in th- until March or until until it gets hot. Yeah, I, I, you know, I guess. I mean, the winters down here, you know, last winter was was pretty mild. But, uh, you know, usually after a mild winter comes a little bit stronger of a weather, you know, a little <laughs> bit colder. So we're hoping, you know, this year that it's it, it's a little bit colder down here where we can survive a, a rink the whole winter and as long as we can maybe into March. Uh, it has to be below, f- you know, 45, 50 degrees to be able to have the rink outside. So, For sure. Uh, we're really excited about it, Steve. For sure. And we have a story in this month's KC Sports and Fitness. It's got the cover of uh, uh, Tom Bahali on the cover, but we've got a story about the new rink opening up with some uh, uh, sort of pictures. It's a, a rendering of what it's going to look like, and we're, of course, going to keep you posted on what it's really looking like with our show and, and in the publication as things go along now. Now, Sean, you went on to... Uh, you played in Rochester, Minnesota in high school. Uh, you went on to play in the WCHA. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't for St. Cloud, which is, <laughs> which is my affinity where my son went to school. But at least you didn't play for the Golden Gophers yeah. or North Dakota. But uh, you played in the uh, University of Minnesota Duluth. Um, and now you played three years for them. Uh, but yet you went on and got your degree. How did that all work out? Were you, you did you kind of sit out a year or something like that? You were playing at a lower at a different level. Yeah, it was kind of a weird path because when I came out of high school, there was a uh, college out in San Diego, United States International University, and uh, I had a scholarship offered out there. Didn't want to take it. Kind of ended up somehow going out there for a few months. Decided I wanted to be back in Minnesota. Always wanted to play at UMD. It was my dream you got to remember, there was no St. Cloud State back in 1986. Oh, so they weren't a part of the WCHA at that time? No, they were Division Three. Oh, okay. So we only yeah. had two yeah, teams yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. in Minneapolis and Duluth. So I transferred back, and then I had to set out the rest of my freshman year because you have to set out a full year. And then Thanksgiving, my sophomore year, I started playing and ended up playing two and a half years up in Duluth, Minnesota, and going on from there. And you got drafted in what year? Your, your 19, freshman year, 1988, actually? 1988, my sophomore year. By, okay, by the Edmonton Oilers, and in 88, they won the Cup. Yes. So what did that feel like as a, as a kid getting drafted by the team that had Gretzky and Messier and, you know, all those guys? Uh, was it exciting or was it kind of like, oh, my gosh, you know, I'm never going to get in that lineup? It was the most <laughs> defeatist <laughs> moment maybe of my life thinking I'll never play for this team. Yes. And <laughs> I don't know why they would pick me because I was a, I was a fourth liner on the worst team in <laughs> WCHA. So... But uh, they saw work- something. <laughs> yeah, I guess they did, but <laughs> it ended up working okay. So you had a really strong senior year, 39 points in 35 games, and you got a degree in communications. Um, now, while you were in college, uh, did did you have, even though you were drafted, did you have much contact with, with the NHL? Were there <laughs> scouts that came through and said, Sean, you need to be working on this or you need to be lifting more weights or anything like that? I've always wondered that. <laughs> I was just telling this story today. I haven't told it for a while. So I got drafted, and so I didn't hear anything from the team. Eight weeks later, I got a form letter asking me my name, which way I shot, where I played. (laughs) I was like, like, they don't even know who I am. (laughs) So so they didn't talk to me for my whole, it was not like today. Today, you know, you get drafted, you go up and you get your picture, you get a jersey, hat, even in the seventh round. And so I was uh, down at Daytona Beach on spring break. It was the old MTV spring break. Remember that was a big thing back in the 80s and 90s. And uh, I called back on the payphone to my buddy Sandy Smith and said, hey, Sandy, what's going on? He goes, oh, I got my agent here. He wants to know if uh, he could represent you. And I said, for what? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, hockey, thinks he could play pro. <laughs> I said, would you want to go with him? I said, hey, that'd be awesome. <laughs> no one else had called. So that's how I got my agent on spring break. MTV style in 1990. <laughs> Very nice. Well, that is it. That, is, that I'm sure that is an unusual story that, that <laughs> not, not everybody can share. So, <laughs> so you spent uh, uh, you know a couple of years in minor pro hockey, and uh, you won a championship um, with what was the, it was the Oilers, but it was Cape Breton Oilers. Okay, and where Scotland. were they located? Uh, as far east as you could go, except for Newfoundland. We were a half hour time zone farther than the East Coast. In the, the in, Canada? in Canada, in Canada. Okay, yes. but you're an American. So, um, you know, and, and we'll put a graphic up with your name on it, but, uh, and, we, and we've got a friend here. We're, we're, get, we're getting <laughs> no. your friend in the show. We want to make sure he is the, the official. What's his, what's his this name? Is, uh, <coughs> her this name? is my uh, pup, Pino, and uh, she is, hangs the, around the rink a the lot. The official rink dog, yep. yeah. And, and she's puppy got child it. might be watching. <laughs> <And she's laughs> you never know. So you can bring your dogs to the ring, too. No, no we're on, just kidding. On, on live TV, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> For sure. But uh, uh, so you, you win this championship, and then um, you got traded. 
some sometime after that you went on to to play for the Flyers. Um, uh, how what what's it like to get traded when when you're um, you know when as a pro you know mo- most most of us say oh well he got traded it's no big deal because he's making all this money and you know he's going to play for another team and all that but what's it really like I mean it, it, I think more so I read uh, leaving Philadelphia was. Yeah. was tougher for you. When, when, you, when it, I was kind of a, I called myself a third, fourth line ham and egg, or just kind of dumping mm-hmm. in, do the, do the dirty work. <laughs> See, and I heard you were a really good um, penalty killer. So, <laughs> Actually, did, did part- I read that wrong? Or? My partner was really, really good. <laughs> was <it> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we did so well. Um, and so, uh, the, when I left Edmonton, I was a free agent. I was okay. In, so I ended up getting to choose where I wanted to go, and I had one team to offer me a contract in the NHL. So I went to Philadelphia. And we, good choice. We, yeah, <laughs> and we were very happy about it. But we were in Philadelphia for four and a half years, and to be honest, I remember when I got traded, it was, I didn't want to leave. The general manager called me in, said he had a trade on the table. I told him, you know, I, we had friends. We had, I had my wife out there. We were settling down. Like, we were yeah. very happy, yeah. and I, we loved the area. And uh, then the trade came through, and uh, it was really hard because at that point, and it's, it's hard to explain it, but it's not about the money. Now all of a sudden you're uprooting your life again, and going to somewhere new, which ended up working out great. We loved Colorado, and but there was always that special spot that I loved Philadelphia, and I always wanted to stay there and go back there one day. Right. It just never happened, and right. that's pro sports. But it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not like you are dealing with anything totally serious. But <laughs> if, it, if you're in a place you love and a place that you want to you know, spend your time and part of your life, it's tough to have to leave when someone tells you you have to. Right, and while you were with the Flyers, you played with guys and, and – People that are out there watching, these are some big-time hockey names. John LeClaire and Paul Coffey and uh, Ron Hextall and, and all that stuff. You played with, uh, did you play with Lindros? Yep. Okay, you played with yeah. Eric Lindros, who was, was uh, you know, big-time hockey player, star as well. I mean, he was a star when he was 10 or yeah, something like that. Actually, he was two. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was doing endorsements before he, you know, almost <laughs> right after he put his skates on. But, but uh, you guys went to the finals. Yes. You went to the Stanley Cup Finals, and I do remember watching that. And uh, it was unfortunately, you, the the Flyers had an issue with their goaltending always <laughs> being a being a problem during the playoffs. And sure enough, that was a problem during the playoff year that you were there. And I guess apparently your coach kind of didn't cl- or close the door and talk to you guys, but later made some statements and things like that out to the the press that weren't weren't thought of too highly uh you care to elaborate or is it just oh, yeah he he, he 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 after game three he came out and said a line i still remember today he goes we put ourselves in a choking situation mm-hmm. and he was the thing was he was right on we were predicted to win we came out and uh and the sad thing was i knew as soon as uh we got to the finals i saw detroit beat colorado i was like they're a better team than us right and people outside of the circle didn't see it they didn't know it they didn't know the problems we had internally so we just did it to ourselves, and the thing is, it's, people are, people have a hard time, you know, when the finger is pointed at them. <laughs> but we definitely we earned it. <laughs> we, we earned that comment. So for us, or at least but he was gone me. the next year. He was gone yeah. the next year, but you guys were still there. So yeah. um, who, which coach was that? Who was it? Murray, Terry Murray, Terry Murray. Yep. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure which one it was. Um, now, Dean, uh, let's let's roll back for we've got a couple more minutes in this segment, but we're gonna we're gonna have these guys on for two segments in the show. So uh, we've got a couple more minutes in this segment. You guys, um, you brought Sean in to work on a hockey camp. You want to fill us in on what it is you guys have been doing here the last couple sure. of weeks with all the different hockey camps? Sure, no problem. Uh, this camp was specifically called Battle Camp, and what it was was uh, I had an idea um, to bring Minnesota people down here to help us or a couple people from my roots to help us with a battle camp, which was, uh, hard work, uh, but fun. And, uh, I think that's some of the things that I grew up learning and, and still to this day, I try to bring to hockey around here is then every time you hit that ice, you know, you want to work as hard as you can work if you love the game and, but have as much fun as you can have. And I couldn't think of a better person when I first thought about the idea of a battle camp to bring Sean here to help me with it. And not only to help me, but to be here to, to lean on to, to you know help with some of the kids too. So Sean was great. The rest of my counselors were great. We just got done with it today. So if I sound a little bit hoarse, <laughs> it wasn't because I was yelling at the kids. You know, It was more because of the fun that we had right. and, and just the excitement uh, that we had down here. And, and I tell you, I remember when Sean got traded from Edmonton and, and you told me, just to add that that was the happiest day of your life. Or <laughs> <laughs> when, right, when you left Edmonton to... to it's nice to go from a team that doesn't want you to play right. to one that no, wants you no. to. No, <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, but it has something to do with the dollar. 
I oh, thought, didn't it? Oh. <laughs> didn't it have something to do with the Canadian dollar? Wasn't <laughs> yeah, it, it, it wasn't as valuable at that time. Now I right. think it's different. Contract yeah. wise, back then you made Canadian dollars up there, and it was sixty six cents on the dollar. Well, <laughs> we used, I, we used to buy our. <laughs> our Sorry to get off track, but yeah, I had no, to tell no, the real funny, story yeah. of when you I got your, when, you, when you left there. <laughs> we we used to buy our hockey equipment, and, and you'd buy it mail order yep. from Canada, so that it was sixty six yeah, cents so on the dollar. And that was important. <laughs> I, the, the, I played goalie just in in rec league, but the 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 combined block, you know, the combined oh, padding that I had, I got it from a place, yeah, in Canada, and and they were silly enough that they uh, not only charged me for it, but then they also re- refunded me for it. So <laughs> <laughs> it was a good deal. It was a good deal. Now they that wouldn't be that way with no. the internet. And that's kind of the way. I mean, the, the, some of these stories is the way the weeks went, and this is what I wanted to be part of my battle yeah. camp, so the kids yeah. could the kids could hear from somebody that had the professional background that Sean has and that isn't afraid to talk to him about what it takes to, to become a good player and what it takes for the hard work and, and the battles because really all hockey is is an intense battle the whole time you step on the ice until the end of the game and, and you leave it all out there and then, then you're done with the game. So Sean was a perfect fit for me. Uh, he said yes right away because, as you know, and we can get into it a little bit more in the show, uh, Sean is all about giving back to hockey, giving back to his community, and giving back to, to you know, the sport that treated him so good over the past years. So it, it was awesome. For sure. And, yeah, every single hockey play is at least a one-on-one battle. Yep. And so it's real important to know that and to get away with the puck or get the puck to your teammates so that they can win a battle. Mm-hmm. And that's really important, and that's one of the things, obviously, that you're going to learn here at the Kansas City Ice Center. We're going to talk a little bit more about the different programs that are available here at the KC Ice Center. Of course, we'll, we'll visit a little bit more with uh, Dean Nelson and Sean Podine, who are our guests today. I want to make sure that we're giving out the phone number uh, for the Ice Center. Dean, will you fill us in on that? Yep. You can a- Any information you need on any one of our programs or anything we're doing down here, whether it be learn to skate, learn to play hockey or um, you know just public skates it's 913-441-3033 and you can visit us at uh, www.kcicecenter.com we're going to take a quick break and you are watching or listening to good sports kansas city sports and fitness and she kc magazine show we're coming to you from the kansas city ice center which is located two miles west of 435 off of johnson drive i'm steve fish we'll be right back Check out our predictions for the Chiefs this season in this month's Kansas City Sports Magazine. We also analyze the Chiefs' defense in the Bud Light Chiefs Report. And we look at KU, K-State, and MU football in the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. And check out the KCI Center Hockey Report and the Great Life Golf Report, too. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine all over KC. And it's always free, so pick one up today. And sign up now for a free online subscription to KC Sport. Email us at freestuff at kcsportspaper.com. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesdays, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic understands the pressures we all face and the demands they place on our bodies. Dr. McIntosh can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you're playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, 
Your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913-438-5433. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrews Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrews at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. Join Mafia Pizzeria Southside for the 127 Metcalf Summerfest, Saturday, August 25th from 11 to 6 at 127th and Metcalf. There'll be a live band, beer garden, and lots of kids' activities. And it's free, so see you there. If you're buying or selling a home, contact Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. The Shannon Dozer Real Estate Group delivers a personal touch, professional approach, and positive results for every customer. Call Shannon at 913-488-9126 or visit shannondozer.com. We are back. You're watching and listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine and She KC Magazine. I am Steve Fish, and today we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can have your next party. You can come on out for a public skating session. You can uh, enjoy a learn to skate or a learn to play hockey. Uh, session, or you can schedule a broomball game. To find out all you can do here, visit their website, kcicecenter.com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by uh, First Student Charter Bus Rental. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, corporate events, a church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. So the next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Call 866-514-8747 for details or visit firstcharterbus.com. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. This month, we analyze the upcoming football seasons for KU, for K-State, and for MU. And in SheKC, we feature a story on the UMKC volleyball team, plus former KU basketball player who's now a pro, Danielle McCray. Uh, Now, you can pick up your copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center, where we're doing our show today, Mafia Mike's Pizza on 87th and Lackman in Lenexa, Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf as well. Now, you'll find SheKC all over KC at over 500 locations, and you'll find those locations on our website, SheKC.com. And if you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our web pages and find uh, the links to our pages, our websites, our kcsportspaper.com and shekc.com. And now you can also view our show, this show, and some of our past shows on YouTube, and all you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and they include the UPS stores at 103rd and Warnell and 121st and State Line in Leewood, Faxing Scanning, Notary Services, the two South KC UPS stores offer services that can make life easier and help keep businesses running smoothly. I-9 Sports, where you can sign up uh, your kids now for their fall programs that are presented by I-9 Sports. Flag football, soccer, cheerleading, and basketball for boys and girls ages 2 to 14. I-9 focuses on fun and good sportsmanship and safe play. All skills are welcome, and there are no tryouts. You can call 913-904-0810 or visit I-9Sports.com for more information 
and you can sign up. If you sign up by August 22nd, you are guaranteed a spot with I-9 Sports. The 127 Metcalf Summerfest, presented by, in part, by Mafia Pizzeria Southside. Come on out to this fun event on August 25th from 11 to 6 p.m., and they'll have a live band, a beer garden, and lots of activities for kids. And it all happens on August 25th at 127th and Metcalf. Heritage College, where you can take classes and train to be a personal trainer. Heritage College provides hands-on learning, uh, career placement assistance, instructors with real-world experience, and offers financial aid for those who qualify. Get all the facts by calling 888-833-4733 or visit heritage-education.com. Kansas City's uh, new premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of KC. Uh, the Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, youth and men's leagues, sports camps, athletic sports enhancement, and more. You can stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivira. You can call them at 913-897-HOOP or visit fieldhouseofkc.com and watch for more information on their grand opening coming on October 6th. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in SheKC, and they are Kansas City Chiropractic, Safe Kansas, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Pulaski and Associates, Sport Court, Jazz, Stanley Jazzercise, Garden of Delight Yoga, Heritage College, uh, The Fieldhouse, I-9 Sports, and Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. Now, I also want to mention a uh, new advertiser coming to Kansas City Sports and Fitness next month who will be sponsoring our high school report. It's Siege Sports. Uh, unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience for sports like you've never seen it before. Siege Sports is the answer. And we'll have more about this new company in our upcoming shows and upcoming issues of KC Sports and Fitness. Now, we're going to take another quick break. And when we come back, we're going to talk more with Dean Nelson from the Kansas City Ice Center and Sean Podine, who is our special guest today and helping out Dean with a hockey camp that they had going on at the Ice Center. Uh, we are out here at the Kansas City Ice Center, located two miles west of 435 off of Johnson Drive. I'm um, Steve Fish. We'll be right back. There's family fun for everyone at Danny Jackson's Incredible. Bowling, mini golf, laser tag, and more. Incredible has it all. And right now with the coupon in KC Sports, you can buy two Cosmic Bowling sessions and get one free. Or save a dollar on any meal at the breakfast nook. Visit Incredible at 151st in Antioch. Find them online at Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700. That's 913-851-1700. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center is now enrolling for learn to skate and learn to play hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Come on out and check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit KCIceCenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman and 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. Take advantage of special back-to-school Labor Day and Patriotic Golf Day rates or sign up for a clinic at the Heart of America Golf Academy. Visit HOAGolfacademy.com or call 816-513-8940 for details. Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit gardensofdelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. 
come check out KC's premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of KC. The Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, from player skill development, athletic performance enhancement, and character enrichment. Mark your calendar to visit the Fieldhouse for their grand opening on Saturday, October 6th. Youth and men's leagues, sports camps, exercise, and more. The Fieldhouse builds the athlete inside the player. Stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivira. Call 913-897-HOOP or visit fieldhouseofkc.com. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrews Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivira. For tee times, call St. Andrews at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. Someone has to motivate her. Someone has to prepare him. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to train them. Heritage College. Train to be a personal trainer. Get started today. Call 1-866-845-3613. That's 1-866-845-3613. Sign up now for the fall programs presented by I-9 Sports. Flag football, soccer, cheerleading, basketball, and baseball for boys and girls 2 to 14. All skills are welcome and there are no tryouts. Call 913-904-0810 or visit i9sports.com. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. I am Steve Fish, and today we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can have your next party. Come on out for a public skating session, uh, a learn to skate or learn to play hockey uh, session as well. You can also schedule a broom ball game here, and to find out all you can do here at the Kansas City Ice Center, visit their website kcicecenter.com Now this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange where you can outfit your office for under $500 including a computer executive chairs, desks, flat screen monitors office supplies, computers and more you'll find them at discounted prices at the Surplus Exchange visit their website at surplusexchange.org or call 816-472-0444 for more information I also want to mention some of the experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the Plaza, former Royal World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, who will share nutritional supplement information with us, and nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solutions, sports, and more, and you can read a sports or a health tip from each in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC. Now to read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Burger Kings and the Sport Clips all over KC. And She KC, you'll find them at over 500 locations as well. Now this month, She KC, we tell you if it's best to eat before or after you exercise, and we write about rowing for fitness, for exercise, and of course for college scholarships as well. Plus, in KC Sports, we feature our golf report presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness. And we've got stories on Eagles Landing Golf Course, uh, and we've got information on how to select the right shaft for your golf clubs also. And I also want to mention that coming up on Friday, August 10th, actually that is today, That's gonna, uh, we've already done that. On uh, Saturday, August 18th, we will be at a new location, the Overland Park Golf Club, which is located at 125th and Quivira, and our taping will start around 10 or 11 o'clock that day. On September 8th, we'll be at Old Shawnee Pizza, located a half a mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road, and our taping will start at about 12.30 that day. On September 15th, we will be at the Fieldhouse of Kansas City, located at 135th and Quivira, and our taping will start uh, just about just about 12.30 that day as well. 
Uh, and then on a Saturday in August, we will be at uh, Royal Danny Jackson's Incredible at 151st in Antioch. And then we'll also be back here at the Kansas City Ice Center in September as well, one, the second, the third or the fourth week of September as well. Now, uh, as I had mentioned in our first segment, we are talking with Dean Nelson, who's the general manager of the Kansas City Ice Center, and Sean Podine, who is a former St. Louis Blue, my favorite team, as well as he played for some of these other teams. I did root for the Colorado Avalanche to win the Stanley Cup uh, when you were playing for them, and we'll talk about that as well. He also played for the Edmonton Oilers, which uh, we found out in the first segment he was not thrilled with, <laughs> with being there, and he also played with the Philadelphia Flyers, which he was thrilled with being in Philadelphia. Now, Dean, let's start off with a little bit more hockey talk about uh, the Kansas City Ice Center. You guys have uh, uh, learned to play hockey classes that you offer to kids, um, and uh, you've got some sessions that are coming up as well. Yeah, <clears throat> the Learn to Play Hockey classes that we have here at the Kansas City Ice Center uh, run Saturday mornings at 8 o'clock. Uh, they're for kids if you've never skated or for kids who want some more tooling of your skills. You can enter into those classes, and they're all coached by quality coaches around here that we have either employed at the rink or within the Kansas City Stars organization. Uh, we have a new one, I believe, starting, and I don't have the date right on the top of my head. It, I think it's uh, September, the middle of September or something is our next class that starts. We're currently in about the fourth or fifth week of our current program. It goes eight weeks. It's an eight-week program. You'd have to uh, just check our website, kcicecenter.com, to look at the exact dates uh, that that's going to run. And uh, uh, you also have, uh, well, well let's, let's talk first, uh, first about the different hockey, learn to play hockey classes. You kind of break these kids up into different levels. Uh, yeah, we do. We have the first level, which is called the rookie level, and that is if you have no uh, skating experience at all, you come on in, all you need is skates. We pretty much help you with sticks, with, um, or all, we can help you with the skates. I'm sorry, all you need is a helmet with face mask, and we can help you with the rest of the stuff here at the uh, ice arena. And then we also have the uh, little stars that are the more progressive kids and then the all-stars, which are the kids that are getting ready to play into a hockey league. So, you know, it's, it's kind of neat because you see the kids get on the ice for the first time all the way up to putting them into the hockey organization that they want to play into. And me and Sean were talking earlier uh, today, actually, on, you know, where's the foundation of, of hockey and where should you support and, and look at uh, sometimes the most. And it's, it's the real little kids. So here at Kansas City Ice Center, we've really made an effort to not only put a special class in for kids, but to really, really give them the ice time to start the program that they need to, uh, to, to get going. And with the new rink, you'll have even more ice time available for yeah. those kids. And that's, the, that's key now. Uh, Dean, when did you start skating? How old were you when you got when you uh, strapped on the skates? Well, started? I started skating with the double runners at about three. Really, years double old. runners. Had, really, yeah. Wow, my first cool. one was double runners at three, I think, three or four. And then you got there. off of those when you were about fourteen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I still have a pair in the back on some How days fun. that I try to use. <laughs> but I, you know, I probably started around age four, I think. You know, and I yeah. think I had my first <laughs> rink in my yard at age five. My dad would put a hose out in the in the yard, and, and we'd flood our yard, and it was cold enough that it would just freeze, <clears> and we would just skate around the trees. Or whatever we had there and I think it was around four or five and I took to it real good I was lucky you know I mean my first few times I was skating I wanted to quit yeah. at first because yeah. you know I wasn't great at it and you want to be good at what you do but you know I stuck with it and uh you know I I didn't play at a real high level like Sean did uh and uh but but you know what I always have a love and a passion for the game and uh I think that's really what matters when you're in a position like me myself is to to have that love and that passion to help kids grow and help them learn for you, sure and Sean, you know if you don't mind me adding in here like for parents that are looking at ice hockey please don't get scared away by the myths of the game like to learn how to skate you can come and just have a helmet that's all you really need i mean people think hockey equipment costs so much and goalie pads are two thousand dollars and everything like that don't get caught into that mentality please come and enjoy the game for what it is get your kid on the ice to have fun teach them how to balance themselves when they learn that all of a sudden they want to move then they start moving they love the game then they have this sport this whole other sport that's just beautiful and you have this complex here that's putting in this state-of-the-art outdoor ice facility which families might not even understand what outdoor ice hockey is but right that's how we grew up when i remember my fondest memories of growing up they were not going to the rec center or going to grand marina 
they were going out on the, on the creek next to my house. They were going outside where everything's going on around you, but you're playing hockey outside, and it's so special. It's, I just think it's one of the greatest sports in the world, and I think the world of Dean, what he's doing here is very, very special. I was watching him work with the kids and the families last night and how much he cares about every single kid that comes through here. and Everything he does, he tries to take care of the families and the kids to right. make this a positive example experience in sports. So I just hope these families, when they watch this, don't get scared away by what they've heard from secondhand information, but actually take advantage, come down and see what actually is going on and maybe experience it themselves. Well, the thing that I found, and, and I went through many years with my kids playing hockey, and of course I played hockey as well, is the parents where the kids said, I want to go play hockey, they'd give their kids a chance to do it, and then the parents would fall in love with the game. They'd, they'd say, oh my gosh, how special is this? I'm watching my kid do this amazing thing out there, and you can see him progress. And then some of the parents, I ran an adult hockey group that actually skated out here at late, late, late at night, and some of the parents picked up the skates and the sticks and all that themselves because their kids were playing. And, you know, they fell in love with it enough that they said, I want to experience this. They didn't get a chance as a kid. And that's, yeah, that's the passion of hockey. It gets in your blood from an early age, and it sticks with you, and it is, there is no sport like it. I mean, everybody's watching the Olympics right now. Hockey is one of the best to watch. And when it's 110 degrees and 90% humidity, <laughs> do you really want to be in the soccer field? Come on, let's talk to your parents. Yeah, there's no, no, no use of hands. You don't get to carry a stick. You know, you're not on a blade. And really, the, the thing that people don't understand is you're on a blade that's, what, a quarter of an inch thick? Is that what it is, Dean? Yes. And, and actually, it's, it's not even that. Right. Um, it's, it's two edges. And really, with a hockey skate, because they're kind of curved, yep. you don't really see it. You're on an inch of that. Yeah, the and it's like amazing the way the things at the professional level. It's just amazing the things you guys can do. But at the kids level, it's absolutely amazing to watch these kids turn and f go backwards, and you know. Well, the the confidence they build in being able to do something that a lot of other kids can't. Yeah, is pretty really neat to oh see yeah. in your children oh because yeah. all of a sudden they're the one who can ice skate, and the other, especially you know in this community where it's really really tough to get to ice. It's you know it's mm -hmm. tough, it's a tough game to mm -hmm. promote. Uh, Minnesota, we have kind of rinks in a lot of different places. But all of a sudden, when your child is doing something that other kids haven't gotten to or maybe can't do, right. that's a special feeling. That's a confidence builder, and that's oh great yeah. for any kids. Oh, yeah. And you guys have, Dean, um, a Learn to Skate free open house that's coming up. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a free open house for Learn to Skate. I believe it's uh, you know for the general public. And, and once again, that's listed on our website, the dates of that. I want to say it's August 24th, but I don't know that right off the top of my head. It's something yeah. like that. Look under our website, and what it is is, is is for you to come out and try skating. I mean, it's a free deal where you can come out and try skating. If you like it, maybe you want to sign up for one of our classes, or maybe you want to sign up for some lessons down here, or, or you just want to public skate because I tell you, if you start skating, like Sean said, it is something different. It isn't like running outside or it isn't like you know grabbing a basketball and heading to the, to the floor. Uh, it is something totally different that when you do it, it is like exuberating and it is so exhilarating on, on, on what you've accomplished. So it, it's so fun for us to teach hockey because we get to see it every day. It's hard to explain it, but uh, that's one of the reasons my learn to play hockey class. I just said, bring a helmet, bring a helmet. We'll get you on the ice. Mm -hmm. we, we got skates here for you. We got sticks. We'll get you on the ice. You know what? And if you don't have a helmet, I could probably find one laying around here for <laughs> exactly. you. Exactly. I, I uh, saw the bucket that Sean was wearing, and, and uh, I'd like to put any young kid in that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sean, uh, when you were with the Colorado Avalanche, um, and for anybody that watches hockey, Sean was traded for Keith Jones, who is a big-time NHL hockey analyst. If you followed the Stanley Cup playoffs, Keith Jones is one of those guys that gives the commentary uh, for that. So, uh, you know, a big guy to be uh, a big guy traded for a big guy. Uh, you joined them. What year were you? Did you join them? Um, I was traded in the. I'm going to say the fall of 99. Okay, so you spent a couple of seasons with him, and then 2000, 2001 is yes. when you won the Cup. Yes. You went the full, the full, and it was a seven-game series. Yes. And at that time, you're playing with, um, I mean, obviously, Joe Sackick and Forsberg, Peter Forsberg. Again, these are big names in hockey if you grew up in the 90s and the 2000s and all that. Peter Forsberg had that ruptured spleen that season yep. during the playoffs so you and they and everybody was going oh my gosh the, the abs don't have a chance but you guys bonded together even more you had patrick wah who is like one of the greatest goalies of all time and ray bork who's the you know i mean a super super superstar yep. um it was an exciting team to watch and it was a great team to root for in the stanley cup finals as well and you guys actually came back from a 
a three to two deficit, you were behind, and you came back and won it in the seventh game. Now, the thing that I, I heard about you. <clears throat> and I think it's a tradition now, is after you guys won the cup, <laughs> I, I think it's a tradition with all hockey players now, not only do you kiss the cup, but you wear your uniform for like forever until it, it, it falls apart, you know, and go out and celebrate. Now, I heard that you started, you actually started that in 2000, 2001 season. Is well, that correct? Well, for those that know <laughs> hockey, your equipment kind of stinks a little bit. After yeah. <laughs> it's not the best smelling of any equipment, so... After we won the Stanley Cup, which was a blessing, and then we were in the locker room, and I was enjoying it with my family. All of a sudden, everybody was showered and ready to go to the, the restaurant we were going to, and we were going to have a get-together and a party. And I, w I had everything on, and one of the wives said, oh, you'll never wear it to the bar. And I said, well, okay, well, well gee, you know, I'm nine years <laughs> old challenge. inside. Exactly. <laughs> what, what, you want me to stick my tongue on that frozen pole, too? Because I'll probably do it still. And so I wore it to the bar, and then I ran into Barry Melrose. Barry's yeah. a friend of mine. He's uh, supported our foundation and just a really, really great guy. And I walked in. He said, that's nothing. We won the championship in the minor leagues. I had a guy keep his stuff on for 24 hours. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, come on. This ain't what I want to do. <laughs> so, like, the whole night I kept receipts and tabs from cab drivers and bartenders and waitresses saying I had my stuff on all night. And then, so I kept it on for 25 hours. My number was 25. My foundation was 25. <laughs> and then, so they came out and filmed me. The next week, on all Northwest Airline flights, you would see me walking down the streets of Morrison, Colorado, with my stuff and my skates still on. <laughs> and I remember going to bed at 7 in the morning, saying, and my wife was like, just take it off. <laughs> like, like, enough's enough. She yeah. said, I'm going in the other room <laughs> yeah. because it stinks. <laughs> I, I, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> and I said, honey, trust me, if I do this, People remember this more than anything I do in my whole career. Anything, because I really haven't done that much anyway. So. But it's funny, when you bring that up, every time I've done an interview, and this is about my 5,200th interview, they always say, is it true? Well, I had heard that that was one of the things that hockey players do now. I didn't know I didn't know it was associated with you until I read it on your <laughs> yeah. on your foundation website. You know, I mean, you hear about th growing the beards and things like that, and they say that that kind of started with Ken Morrow or, in the, or or something like that. And then this was another tradition that I'd heard about that you know they go out in their equipment and and found out it was you. So I'm with the man that s that set a tradition <laughs> here. That's that's just awesome. I don't know if there's a lot of pride in this tradition. <laughs> no, <though. laughs> it's, that's all right. It's just what it is. It's, it, now, now, did they do things at that time where you spent a day with the cup, where you had it yes. and you were able? Where did you take it? Well, first of all, I called for a month straight asking if I could have it for two days. And the secretary, Charlotte Graham, who was a good friend of mine, said, okay, if you stop calling me, you can have it for two <laughs> days. So we took it back to Minneapolis. You know, we took it to all our favorite places, destinations, had a big party with a band. My, my buddy's G.B. Layton. He's got a band in town. Had about 1,500 people. Had the cup up on stage and then took it back to our favorite little, you know, gather watering hole. And then we put in a helicopter, flew it down to my hometown, uh, took it all over Rochester, Minnesota, and just did, you know, we just tried to share it. Had at a, a party with uh, my, uh, my, uh, my children's foundation kids and families. I really just tried to share it with as many people as I could from where I was from because that was one of the most humbling moments when you win it. Some guys are just happy. They're excited. They go do whatever. But I just had a reflection of all those people who really helped me along the way. And there were a lot of them because I needed a lot of help. So, uh, <laughs> so we spent a lot of time doing that. But it was, it was really cool. And the first person I gave it to was my grandpa. He's, he's the guy who I always wanted to win it for. Let him see it. Let him wear the, w let him wear the Stanley Cup ring. And oh, that's awesome. And so we kind of went from there. That's awesome. We've only got about two minutes, two and a half minutes or so. Uh, Dean, why don't you give us the information on how to reach you at the rink? Oh, uh, sure. And then, yeah. and then, Sean, we want to find out a little bit more about your foundation. Yeah, reach me at the rink here. It's real easy, 913-441-3033. That's the phone number, and uh, I really want to leave the last couple of minutes to Sean to talk about his foundation. For sure. And, and uh, Sean, yeah, uh, fill us in on the foundation and, and all the different uh, things you support. Well, Dean and his family have supported us greatly, but um, Team 25, Team25.com, if you go to the computer, uh, we try to raise money to help. Families in need, underfunded, underprivileged charities with children that need help. We give a lot of our money in the southeastern Minnesota area. We used to do a fundraiser in St. Louis when I played there, and I loved St. Louis, so I want everyone to know that. <laughs> and uh, we do a lot of giving to AT Research, which is a rare disease where kids are normal. It's genetic. They start losing 
coordination when they're two or three in a wheelchair by eight to ten and their life expectancy has gone from 18 since we started our program up to about 22 23 That's so awesome we're trying to make you know strides in that department but so we're just trying to give back in areas where we do different events. That is awesome. That is great. And you've always done that for many years. You won the King Clancy Award for, for that uh, in, in the same year you won the Stanley Cup, which is an award presented by the National Hockey League to the, what, what is it, to the player. I, I don't know the exact terminology, but the player that does the most outside of hockey uh, to, you know, to benefit the communities that he's in. And that's fantastic. And no, you know, that's everybody, I'm sure, in, in Minnesota appreciates everything you do for them and of course we appreciate you coming down here and and working with the kids in, in hockey in kansas city and and uh, showing them the excitement that can happen to hang around with a former nhler and and uh, you know goof around with them and things like that it's a memory that they will certainly remember as they grow uh in their hockey careers here in, in kansas city even if they just move on to play in adult league so you know that will do it for our show today i want to thank our host the kansas city ice center and our guest from KCIC, General Manager Dean Nelson. And a special thanks to Stanley Cup champ Sean Podine. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City. Sports and Fitness and SheKC magazines. You'll find them all over KC, and they're free, so pick them up today. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic understands the pressures we all face and the demands they place on our bodies. Dr. McIntosh can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center is now enrolling for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Come on out and check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit KCIceCenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. There's family fun for everyone at Danny Jackson's Incredible. Bowling, mini golf, laser tag, and more. Incredible has it all. And right now with the coupon in KC Sports, you can buy two cosmic bowling sessions and get one free. Or save a dollar on any meal at the breakfast nook. Visit Incredible at 151st in Antioch. Find them online at Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700. That's 913-851-1700. Hey ladies, we now have a free sports health and exercise magazine we can call our own. It's She KC. 
Every month, She KC shares stories that will inspire us, entertain, and educate us, and give us ideas to help make life easier. I went to SheKC.com to find out where I could get my free copy of the publication. I also like SheKC on Facebook and She underscore KC on Twitter. And now I'm part of the SheKC community. Are you? Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesdays, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. Join Mafia Pizzeria Southside for the 127 Metcalf Summerfest, Saturday, August 25th from 11 to 6 at 127th and Metcalf. There'll be a live band, beer garden, and lots of kids' activities, and it's free, so see you there. 